the guide to learn is also included in all. But the beauty of this is if you do have table, system is going to take table first, looks at it. If it answers its need and finds the account, it doesn't look further. After table, the next option is a group. If it finds it, it doesn't look further. If it doesn't find it, it's going to look at the all. So in this type of a scenario, I just wanted to show you, if it's a guide to learn, it goes to this account, 41,000. If it's any other vendor down the road, it's going to go to 42,000. That's all you need to do. However, since in the future, I'd like to also show you how to accept vendor invoices. There are many ways to do it. In case you are going to accept the vendor invoice and immediately post it, you don't need to do anything else. Using the journals, you need to have a summary account and also you have to have a journal name. Using the vendor invoice document, which I'm going to introduce later, you need to have a summary account and no journal name. However, if you have a condition, like certain countries, perhaps such as United Kingdom, if you receive a vendor, invoice, and by law, majority of the companies require to have somebody to accept the vendor invoice, put it into the system, but not associated with any expense account yet, somebody else has to do it. There have to be two parties to involve with the vendor invoices. Then you need to register that first, and then you have to have somebody else approve it. This is not a typical workflow approval. They call it a journal approval. It's a bit different. For that, we know those terms as arrival and an offset arrival. There are three terminologies that are being used. The invoice pool, invoice register, or invoice arrival. These three terms are going to be used interchangeably. 